weather on the A's with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hey everyone, good morning. Live in Ephrata right now, we have 30 degrees for your current temperature. Very light winds out of the east at just 3 miles per hour, high pressure station nearby. Today, our forecast starts with sunshine, then turning breezy as a warm front lifts north this afternoon. As that front moves by, you'll start to see high clouds filtering in, and they'll be thickening up late this evening. Temperature wise today, 62 to 66. For tonight, mostly cloudy, scattered showers will be around. Look at the overnight lows here in the 50s, so unseasonably mild overnight with warm and breezy conditions. For tomorrow, cloudy skies that'll trap in some of that heat. Only 64 to 68, so not climbing very far, but still that is above average and quite comfortable for this time of the year. We'll see periods of rain or scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. Almanac yesterday's high was 56 degrees. That's close to our average of 57 for this time of the year. Record still well up there into the 80s, and record low temperatures are in the teens. Now we don't have anything that cold this morning, but we do have some 20s. 27 degrees in Sealands Grove as well as Lebanon. It's 30 in York, Lancaster, and Reading too. We have 31 Carlisle, but 41 degrees for Gettysburg. Live on Super Doppler 8 right now, satellite and radar put together. Can hardly see any clouds across the Commonwealth. A few here just to the north of I-80. What we're watching is this cloud cover out toward the Midwest. Some storms out here too. All of this is along a warm front. So as that front moves into the Susquehanna Valley later, we will see thickening and increasing clouds and some scattered showers late tonight. Here's the predictor showing us that trend, stopping the clock at 6 p.m. Warm front is north. Warm southerly winds are flowing into our area, bringing us highs in the 60s. Here are some showers that will be coming through overnight and into the first half of tomorrow. But the real juice comes with this area of low pressure riding along the front into tomorrow night. So the second half of tomorrow, we could see some locally heavier rain coming through, especially after dark into the early parts of Saturday. Finally, this cold front is through Saturday morning. We'll see gradual clearing for the afternoon, high pressure building into our south. And Sunday isn't looking half that bad. In fact, we boosted temperatures a few degrees on Easter Sunday up into the mid-50s. Take a look. Here's the extended forecast. Two days in the 60s, three days in the 50s, and back to the 60s again. So temperatures will be uh, much more even than what we saw this week. We had a couple of 40s this week. We had lows in the 20s. That's not going to be the case next week for the first full week of April. All right. Slowly but surely, after the one of the coldest mm -hmm. starts ever around here mm -hmm. in the first three months, first three of, the months of the year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start warming up. All right, Christine, thanks. thanks.